everyone. Guess what? This is the remainder, the culmination of three different orders. Uh, they had shipped three of my orders and so many parts and pieces that I already got most everything else. This here was that close, just that close to uh, being that $5 late delivery refund thing, incentive. So they managed to ditch that thing. But uh, there is a lot of items in here. So I'm gonna put you on pause, grab a pair of scissors and cut this open. Back in a second. All right, I pulled some items out so that I have room. Um, then I will probably split this. Uh, oh, I, I have already split it. Then I will pause this after I get done with the first amount here because there is a lot here. Okay, in this package, there are 12 four inch wood rounds. Now, they were supposed to come, okay, they do. These are little feet right here, These, this black pad here. Now, I wanted to make sure, it does smell of wood. So it smells good. These are not four inch, they're not even quite three and a half inch, as you can see there. So, that's all right. Um, you always expect some loss because they cut squares out usually um, at four inch by four inch, and then they turn them, and they, of course, lose some of the diameter. But less than three and a half inches, that's a lot more loss than anyone really should expect. Those, by the way, are meant for a very um, special uh, project, which the project is I'm going to be going and taking things to a craft show for the first time ever. And those will, some will be painted, some will be painted and varnished, or some will be painted and e epoxy resined for its, you know, upkeep. Um, okay, let's get on to this. It says black. Well, this is what the black is. First off, it looks like they tried to, to tape, something got taped into it or, yeah, a little bit. These are for jewelry making. I don't make a lot of jewelry. But they're actually for key rings. At least I think that's what these are because I haven't opened it yet. Nope. Not for key rings, everyone. But it looks like the, uh, well, I don't know what that was. It just popped. Oh, it's an earring back. So it doesn't get lost. Let's put that on there. This is a pair of spiderweb earrings done in the shape of a heart with a heart in the middle. Hope that's coming through. Oh, it looks better that way, doesn't it? Okay, I have two of those pair. I bought them for this upcoming Halloween this year. And I bought two pair of them because there are two special people in my life that uh, I'm going to send this pair to, and I've already ordered another pair and having it sent directly there. So I'm going to put one aside for her, and we'll get to the rest of this. All right, what we have here is a 10-pack of 20 mil black bottles. Now, I bought black ones because... And I know I'm talking during the rattling, and I'm sorry for that. 
But I bought the black ones because I want to use my own inks and dyes and micas to color my own UV resin and make my own colored resins. And I did that because it is very expensive to buy the colored ones themselves. And of course you can add extremely extra, extra fine glitter and you can use that as a glitter one too. You can even color them. And as you can see, they are manageable. And with that needle tip right there, you don't want to put too much um, glitter in because that needle tip is very, very small. And uh, if you have to, in order to get it to come out, you just pull this tip out. All right, um, I should have the very same over here in two more bags, although they could be different sized. 10 pack 20 mil and 10 pack 20 mil. Okay, so all three are the same size. So now I have 30 of these to make my own colored resins and glittered resins. Actually, I'm going to not put them up here because I have to do so much to get things cleared up here. I'm just going to toss these on my bed. Yes, my craft room is now in my bedroom. All right, next up are listed as um, 450 mil. They said 15 point something ounces. However, the markings don't bear that out. Uh, this one got crushed on the way here. And apparently it was already open. Oh my goodness. Hopefully it won't crack anytime soon. Now I'm looking at this bottle and if you'll notice I can take the lettering and move it around on here. Or put it on my thumb. So what I will end up doing is marking these myself and then uh, kind of washing them off. So these bottles, these printed bottles, you don't go by these markings anyway. And what these are going to be used for is putting um, part A resin in one, part B resin in the other. So that uh, it's much more manageable than picking up um, a uh, one gallon bottle of resin or hardener and then lid snap or the cap snaps on the, to the lid so that's good it's nice and tight and yes when I purchase uh, epoxy resin I try to do it in bulk so that I don't have to worry um, about price very much as you can see both bottles are like that I'll just wipe all that off it won't be necessary although I did purchase it because it had those markings all right next up what every person that uses UV resin needs. You may have a UV resin flashlight, or as it's referred to in the UK, torch. Um, but after a certain amount of use, 
the efficiency, the effectiveness um, dwindles. So you can't have too many of these around, believe me. As you can see, it's just like the one I purchased before. It's got, I don't know if that's adjustable, if it was just loose. Oh, okay, that was the battery compartment one. So I want to put these away for future use when my other one burns out. Okay. Next up, I have one that cl clips onto the edge of a desk or table. Um, I don't know how well this one does that because a lot of desks and tables now are made where the bracing of the tables or desks at, is at close to the edge of the desktop or tabletop. So I'm going to um, detangle this one. There we go. Push it out of that way. And you may see this on um, Mini Scenes GB where Tracy has hers. So it's very simple. It's got a USB plug. Everything these days, I guess, is being made that way on purpose. I would have preferred a U.S. plug that I could plug in, keep it stable. But, you know, we have available to us for purchase whatever we have. Okay, it does clamp on, but not very securely on my desk. It could do that more secure on yours. And the um, stability... Of it staying up doesn't seem to be that great. I'll show you. Um, I want to pick it up. Okay, let's, it just comes. It, it it tends to fall back down. So I'll probably have to tighten that at some point. All right, let's get garbage put away. Next up. Anyone that deals in small resin work deals with the fact that those cups, you have a tendency of keeping them grouped and you end up knocking them over once in a while on accident. So, let's just see if any of those cups I have um, will actually work with this. Okay, I've got the really small ones here. And it doesn't. So, that's okay because they are still usable to keep your inks from being knocked over. Well, someone, I guess. Or, say your glitters. And that's a lifesaver right there. You ever try cleaning up all that glitter? Wow, it is impossible. All right, so it didn't work for the things I was hoping for. However, I will still have a use for it. Okay, let's put that aside. I have two of the same item here. Plastic and rubber is what it's got on the outside. We're going to open one. I'll open one with the most damaged box. Oh, yes. More bottles. This bunch comes with funnels and of course 
the needle tip filling. And yes, they are the same small size as the others. Uh, this set, it doesn't even say how big they are. Oh, well, you know, I'm going to put links. Uh, you'll have, you'll, you'll find that if it's still available. And if it's not, I will go ahead and add the links to it. Or not links, but um, the amount they hold. Although they look like they hold the same. I actually had thought they were different, but they do look the same size. Alright, next up, this is another of those really pretty candle tins. And I know some people don't like the idea that I inspect the packaging first, but I do that so that I get an understanding that there may or may not be damage on the inside to the product. So this has a possibility of damage because this has got a really good crushed top and corner. Now, I do know that these were packed very well the last time. Um, and not damaged during shipping. It was the other ones that came in a larger box that came loose inside the shipping bag that ended up get, getting some damage. So this one has a good possibility of either one. It's a 50-50, damage or no damage. Okay, let's pull this out. No damage. I'm impressed. Okay, so no damage. Get the lid to go back on proper. I won't bring the rest out because uh, they're the exact same things in the last two videos. Which, of course, is Timu Hall 6 and uh, Quality Inspection Timu Hall 6. All right, next up, we've got two more boxes here. And this on top says 12 pieces. And these are some lovely tins. So I hope they're not damaged. They come with different cutout on top. They screw open. This does not stay there, but it stays there. These are going to be used for candles. I leave these things here because that helps protect the scent that's in the candle from uh, losing too much over time without use. Of course, anybody that purchases them um, will have to uh, remove that paper before use. I do have different designs. I am trying to make sure I've got all of them. So there are four of each of these three designs. I like the little flowered one. That's not really bad at all. I really kind of like this one. I don't know why. It just it uh, catches my eye better. And then there's the honeycomb one. Okay, let's get these out of the way. So I'll just set them over here. And then there's this one.
Now I'm thinking this is another one of those little cup holders, shot glass holders is what they're called, I think. Okay, not understanding why that was glued down. Oh, here we go. There's the opening, I think. Well, if it wasn't, it is now. And it looks like it's got the same issue of having too small a hole for those mixing cups everybody uses for resin. I'm going to grab one again and we will test that theory. Uh, if it lets me fold out of there. It keeps running away from me. All right, here we are. Yep, same problem. Now this one here, if I can find a hole saw that... It's got a little bit of a warble. But that's all right. That I could fit in here that's just slightly larger that'll fit the bottoms of these. That'd be great. Maybe that could work, maybe not. Who knows? I'll find out in the future. If not, well, like I said, I'll always find a use for it. All right, I'm going to pause you here, get a drink of water, and we'll get to the rest of this, which are... Silicone molds, a ton of them. All right, back soon. Okay, I jumped the gun, sorry. There were a few more things here, and there's not as many molds as I thought there were because I got a lot of duplicates. Um, here is another bag of those 20 mil 10 packs bottles. Okay, I bought more of these because these are items that people that use resin or even paint can't seem to get enough of. I know I can't. And of course they are the little mixing pots. They definitely don't take care in what the bottoms look like or anything else. These have got kind of creases and scratches and bubbles in them and everything, but that doesn't affect their use. <clears throat> so I have two 10 packs here. Um, I will be purchasing more in the future because that's just what I do. I like to, I don't know, maybe collect them. But I do like to have a bunch around for doing a lot of different colored resins when I'm doing projects. Okay, I'll set those aside. And then this here says uh, 53 piece. I can't read it all the way. Golden accessories, accessory kit. So I can't remember what that is. So I'm going to open it up and find it out. Well, maybe I'll open it and maybe I won't. So what I'll do is I'll just cut along this here to open it. Okay. It feels rubbery. So it might be a mold. It's a mold. And it is a cat mold. Multitude of cats um, for earrings, etc. And it does have uh, shepherd's hook earrings, um, backs, and, and some. Uh, Oh, for pity's sake, I know the name of jump rings. They are in gold. So yes, a mold. So then, let's begin the molds, because that's all that's left to do. Alright, first and foremost, <laughs> yes, late to the party, right? This is a pair of earrings I bought two. Um, these are Valentine's earrings of course you know it could be just because you like to wear hearts 
and this is the style with the kind of a diamond in it. I can't remember if I actually bought those for myself earlier or not. I honestly can't tell you. And I know I'm probably shaking the camera, but I'm very sorry about that. This mold here. This is listed as a lipstick mold for making a tray to hold your lipsticks. But for me, it's going to be a tray that holds my inks and dyes. Sorry about all that noise. Comes with the territory, everyone. And, of course, this is the side you fill. Um, I do have a representative of the inks I want to put into one of them. And it will fit. And it looks like it will fit nicely. I have noticed that this mold is a little out of round. Which should not affect its effectiveness for holding things. And since you fill from this side, I don't have to worry about the collapse from the other side. You do fill it to the top. I'm not sure how much it's going to hold for resin. But we shall see when I go to make it. And I did purchase two, so I didn't have to waste time in making them. Then I bought one for myself and one for my very close friend now. I mean, she's very, got, I'm very close with her now. And it's a good thing. These huh, were listed as sardines. We all know that this is an angel fish, not a sardine, or not an angel fish, a betta fish, betta, whichever way you want to call it. And, uh, I don't know, do you want me to take it out so you can see better? Probably. So let me do that real fast. And this is what this looks like. Get up a little closer and I'll just scan it downwards. Okay. I can't wait to actually do that one. I'm getting to the point that winter is bothering me. Um, both in cold and spirit. So I want to do something um, oceanish, um, lakeish. Um, something around a huge body of water. Now, I know these fish don't really um, get kept in a large body of water, which I, you know, they get kept in a little itty-bitty bowl. Okay, let me set that aside. Then we have another cat mold. Now, I liked this one when I watched it on Twisted Tree Arts 23 uh, channel. I could never find it, so she sent me the link to it, which I appreciated very much. And, of course, it went immediately into my cart. But it has six different styles of cats. Although this just really doesn't look as large as the one she had. Oh, no, I don't think this is the one. I think this is the one I thought was the one, but I'm not too sure. She'll have to tell me in the comments. Let's go ahead and put that back, because right now I don't have my baggies ready to put all these things away. Oh my goodness. Now 
Yeah, I don't think that's the mold. And I know this one's not. So it must be in an upcoming order here. This is another cat mold. I thought this was pretty cool. Because it's got many, many, many sized cats on it. In different positions. And it's pretty thick and heavy duty. But the cats are in different positions. Um... There's even really tiny ones here, and here, and here, and there. So they filled this mold here a lot. This one here is kind of, uh, you know, what cats do, right? Constantly uh, cleaning themselves. I wasn't too impressed with that one being on there, but, you know, it's a cat's life, right? Now, none of these have the nibs in them for hanging them. So you'll just have to use a rotary uh, drill of some sort to create the holes if you want to hang them anywhere. And then I purchased... A holographic coaster mold. I don't normally do holographics. I don't because, well, if, if it's just a personal item, I can't see them very well. But, and sadly, I'm finding out that a lot of my eyesight problems um, aren't stemming from old glasses anymore or anything like that. It's just because my eyes are getting old and not doing good. Um, so I don't know how much longer I have that I can see to do these kinds of things. And so one day you may just get a community notice that I can no longer do videos. Um, because resin is not something that... Uh, blind people can do because you have to use your fingers to tell where liquids are and though that won't bother me if I'm making uh, something to drink um, because you have to know where the level is but with resin you can't stick your fingers in the resin you just can't and you can't tell with gloves where that's at so yes I do face things in reality the way they're supposed to be. Um, I would like to thank you for sticking with me through this little teeny haul. And in about two weeks, I should have two more packages, except I did find out that they did group the two orders together, so it'll be one package. Um, they are showing as shipped, but of course, that does not mean they have made it from the packing plant to the airport or to customs or the other airport to come here. You know what I'm saying, the length of time it takes to get things from China. Okay, thumbs up if you liked it. I'd appreciate that. I'd appreciate a wonderful comment from any of you there. Um, yeah, lately, I've been getting more comments, and I love interacting with all of you. That is so awesome. Um, I'm kind of a shut-in. I don't go anywhere, and it's nice to almost converse with other human beings instead of my cats and dogs all the time. Um uh, what else? Oh, yes. Oh, most important. Thank you. I have attained over 400 subscribers now. You guys 
are helping me get to my goal, which is 500. Um, I so appreciate that support. I do. More than you'll ever understand. Uh, I've got a life change coming up again, and um, it's necessary for me to begin trying to become monetized and, of course, end up selling products and such because I'm going to need an income. And uh, I don't want to beg any of you, okay? Um, the subscriber thing would help the most at this point. And getting to 500 and then 1,000 would be perfect for me. I don't want to become too huge that I cannot interact with those that interact on my channel. Um, but I do need an income coming up because I can't work. Uh, I will be trying to sell uh, things at the craft fairs now, uh, which in my community, um, there's not that many people here, but we do have other smaller towns around us, and they attend the craft shows too. All right, and um, now that we got that out of the way, uh, of course, I'd appreciate if you'd share and spread the word about my channel. Also, I have a dear friend that she's got a lot of struggles herself right now. Um, she needs subscribers. Uh, so Twisted Tree Arts 23 needs to reach a thousand subscribers. She's hoping to do it by March 20th, which is her birthday, or at least by March 24th, which is the year anniversary of her channel. All right. I appreciate you all. You're all beautiful people. May you all be blessed. Peace out.